What's up everyone, Wesley Malott here with just a really quick gear update video. Yesterday, Canon released a pretty huge firmware update for the Canon R6 with version 1.4. Version 1.4 gives us the ability to shoot C-Log3 internally on the R6, and we also now have the ability to simultaneously record video to both SD slots. So obviously the dual card recording makes creating a backup copy of your footage a lot easier and offers some built-in security in case a card ever fails on set, which is great. But the addition of C-Log3 internally on the camera for free is huge because I wasn't even sure that they would offer it for the R6 to begin with. I remember back when C-Log was first available for the Canon 5D Mark III, you had to send the camera into Canon and pay I think a hundred bucks to get C-Log on that camera. So even if they did offer it for the R6, I thought that it would be similar where you had to pay for it. But alas, it is on the camera now for free. So what exactly is so great about C-Log3? C-Log3 increases our base ISO to 800 and gives us a flatter image with more flexibility and post. And it also offers slightly more dynamic range than regular C-Log. So the one-stop change in ISO is giving the camera one stop less exposure so we can capture more detail in the highlights of an image. The firmware also fixed a number of bugs, such as an issue with the screen turning off during HDMI connection and the IBIS not working properly during the first few seconds of recording. But I'm gonna go ahead and update the firmware on my R6 and take it out for a quick test spin. Now one thing that I did notice while shooting C-Log3 was that the shadows were really noisy compared to what they are in C-Log. So I probably just need to bump up the exposure just a little bit more while shooting, but that is one thing I noticed while shooting. If you're an R6 shooter, I'm curious to hear your thoughts on the new firmware. Do you see yourself shooting more with C-Log3 or sticking with the regular C-Log? I'm not that experienced yet with C-Log3, so I'm probably gonna be sticking with C-Log just because it's easier to grade for me, but I will dabble in C-Log 3 here and there. With the addition of C-Log 3, dual card recording, and the previous update that added IPB light to the camera, the R6 is starting to turn into a capable little video camera depending of course on what you're shooting. I know I haven't really spoken much about the R6 on this channel, mostly because of the overheating in 4K. I can get about 60 minutes of 4K footage before the camera overheats. But the R6 does really fit into my YouTube workflow perfectly. So I've been thinking about making a thorough review on the R6, detailing how exactly it fits into my workflow, in case there's anyone else out there that could benefit from this camera. Let me know in the comments below if that is a video that you would be interested in. Just a really quick reminder that we do have a Patreon. So if you're a fan of our channel and want to directly support it, 
sign up to become a Patreon supporter and receive early access to our videos and bigger, longer, exclusive behind the scenes videos. If you enjoyed this video, please like it, share it, subscribe to the channel, drop a comment below, and we'll see you next time for another episode of Game.